Now we'll have a quick review of the future tenses. In our first example sentence, I will do my homework tomorrow, the structure is subject, I, will, plus the verb in its base form, I will do. This is the simple tense and is used particularly for predictions when there's no evidence present. I think it'll rain tomorrow. I don't have any evidence to suggest that. I'm just making a prediction. It's also used for threats and promises. I will love you forever. I'll kill you if you do that again. The future simple is also used when we're making a spontaneous decision. Somebody tells you your friend's in hospital, you didn't know, you say, oh, I'll go and visit her. There's no plan involved, it's purely a spontaneous decision. Our second example sentence, at 4 p.m. tomorrow, I will be doing my homework. I will be doing my homework is in the future continuous tense. This has the structure subject, I, plus will, plus be, plus verb with the ing at the end. I will be doing. The future continuous tense is used to describe an action that will be in progress at a particular future time. Just as the present continuous was used to talk about an action in progress at the present time, and the past continuous was used to talk about an action in progress at a past time, the future continuous is used to talk about an action in progress at a particular future time. Third example sentence, by 6 p.m. tomorrow, I will have done my homework. This is the future perfect tense. And this has the structure subject, I, plus will, plus have, plus the past participle, in this case, done. The future perfect tense is used for an action that will be completed before a point in the future. In this example sentence, the point in the future is 6 p.m. And we want to express what will have been completed before that time. Our final example sentence, at 5 p.m. tomorrow, I will have been doing my homework for three hours. I will have been doing, here, is the future perfect continuous tense. This has the structure subject, in this case I, plus will, plus have, plus been, plus verb ing. So we can see here, this is the only tense we have with three auxiliary verbs. Will, have, and been. The future perfect continuous tense is used to focus on the duration of an action before a point in the future. Our point in the future here is 5 p.m. tomorrow, and we want to talk about the duration of an activity up until that point. I will have been doing my homework for three hours up until that point. 